Well, with fall almost here, it is time to get out and take those fun fall activities by the horn. That I love looking at that. I know this maze. is cool. And one fall tradition is the corn maze at Robinettes. And that is where we find 13 on your side, meteorologist Michael Barons, who is doing his best not to get lost. Michael, how you doing? <laughs> You know, we are trying our best out here, Kirk. As you saw before the break, we were making our way through the maze and we have worked our way to something that may be able to help. We got this bridge behind us. You know what they say, getting some extra height may help you figure out the surroundings. So I'm gonna send our photographer, Dan, up the stairs. He's gonna take a look at what we have gotten ourselves into and we, uh, we are just thick deep into this corn maze. This thing goes on for what seems like forever. There are just winding paths, loop backs. You end up just, well, covered in corn <laughs> and finding your way out can be quite the challenge, but it's a fun challenge and one that you may want to come out here to take in too. So when we spoke earlier today uh, with Alan here, uh, he gave us some more details about what to expect with this corn maze. Well, the corn maze is about six and a half acres, and we do a different design every year. Uh, each year we do a, something unique. This year we decided to celebrate the history of our, uh, our Big Apple on the farm. That's one of our most iconic uh, sites on the farm. It's, it's very recognizable, and we wanted to celebrate that with the design this year. We'll be open seven days a week right after Labor Day. Uh, we will be at it until uh, probably Thanksgiving, and we'll be uh, open year-round, and we're happy to have you here. As you just heard, they are definitely looking forward to people coming out this fall and taking things in. And one of those things, again, being the corn maze. And as Dan was showing you before uh, we went to that sound there, it is a big corn maze. The paths are small. If you've been on some of those bigger ones where they kind of like use the combine to make the paths, this isn't it. These are like really tight quarters. So you can definitely get lost out here in the maze. And of course, that's not the only thing to do. Uh, they have, of course, the uh, apple picking that'll be coming up here soon. They have their bakery, they have their gift shop, the winery. There is certainly a lot to do out here at Robin Nets and I'm definitely looking forward to taking it in as fall weather settles in. But for now, reporting from somewhere in the corn maze, meteorologist Michael Barron's 13 on your side.